welcome back, it's the Cardis, and in today's deck call I'm going to be facing the Plaid decks versus the Virtuoso decks. The Plaid decks are made by Dan and Dave, and the Virtuosos are made by the Verts. We here we have the summer, um, we have sorry, we have the summer stuff spring edition, and we have the launch edition. Here we have the Arizona, um, we have the California blue, uh, blue, and we have the Arizona red. So let's get straight on into the Virtuoso decks. Okay, so here we have the Virtuoso decks. Uh, so on the sides they are different. Uh, they have this nice to form the front is like these triangles and shapes to form the front and backs. It has Virtuoso on the Spring and Slash Summer Edition, and it has Launch Edition on the Launch Edition deck. It has Virtuoso, and it has the name of the deck there, and it has the same, you know, Virtuoso copyright information on both decks. And it has Singapore and stuff. It has the Virtuoso logo there, and it's also on the tabs there and there. And I like the deck because they both match, like what I mean by match, they both suit, I like the colours they've chosen and I think it works very well. I'm going to be reviewing the Spring Slash Summer Edition in this deck wall because this one is my favourite but I'll still show you the back design for this. Okay, so here, as you can see here we have the Vintage Plaid decks or the Plaid decks. Straight away you can see there is a texture that is on the tuck case and this is for both decks. There is a like a texture on both. On the front it has, you know, playing cards with the full pips there and there. It has fine playing cards for gentlemen, and we had number one and number two. On the bottom, it has some copyright information, okay, you know where it's printed. It has the Dan and Dave playing card company, Los Angeles Sonati, I believe. And then we have the back design, as you can see, that these actually have seals. With the Virtuosos, they do not have seals. And also, it is a it shows the whole back design, and it is a mirrored. Uh, it is mirrored, so it's, it's you know there's no it's not one way back, and it has no border. With the Virtuosos, they have a border. So let's get straight on into the Virtuoso deck. Okay, so straight away I'm going to quickly show you the launch edition that they first brought out. And it had quite a thick border on it compared to the original one. As you can see, the back design is made out of triangles. You have black triangles here with a circle and red here. And I think it's an absolutely awesome back design and I wanted to quickly show you that. Now, the original spring slash summer edition has a thinner border. So the thinner borders are amazing if you want to do fans okay they always come in handy but other than that they are really cool we have the same idea with the circle uh, with the blue but they've replaced it for the red and they put orange here and they put uh, kept that one grey to suit the colour of the box and I think it does pop the black and red pop and also this one pops and I think it's quite simple but I like it the cards you receive for the deck is, you don't receive no jokers, it's all um, these cards. We have the Virtuoso Spring Plus Summer Edition 2014. On the back of it, it has this certain thing that I will get into. It says a new season, it has, you know, some ad cards and stuff that you could read if you, if, when you buy the deck. If you're interested in getting it, I'll provide a link in the description. Here we have, um, what I like about this, Dave, it's very clever, is on, even on the red deck, there is four cards on the advertisements they include, so no jokers, and it forms a giant picture of the back design and I think that's absolutely awesome I, I, I really do love that now the cards you receive inside are quite standard not standard um, they're all custom actually sorry my, my words are getting mixed up there they are all custom every single one of them is custom so there is not one bit that is staying to a normal USPCC deck and the layout is completely different too the Ace of Spades as you can see is the Ace of Spades it has Virtuoso and it has spring slash summer edition right there okay and also what I've noticed with the deck is the black cards are blue and the red cards are an orange the two as you can see the pips are in a different layout to standard how you guys are probably used to them then you get to the royalty and the royalty have jack queen king and as you can see the faces are different and it's a blue kind of black coloration to the royalty you get on with the kings so the hearts and the royalty here are an orangey black same as the you know, the same idea as the uh, black ones that are blue, the, sorry, the spades that are blue, uh, but they've changed it for orange. And you can see the pips are in a different layout, they're placed different ways, and they go, they'll continue the whole way through there. We'll move on to the clubs. The clubs are exactly the same, you know, as the spades are, uh, you know, the same idea, and then you get the diamonds that are exactly the same. So that's basically it for the Virtuoso Spring slash Summer Edition. Let's get into the Virtuoso, uh, sorry, the uh, Plaid decks. Okay, so here we have the uh, Plaid decks. First off, you can see the Plaid one has more of the uh, California blue. It is a bluey green kind of thing, and it kind of looks like something that you would see on a, pink a picnic blanket. Really, really cool. I won't be showing this one in the review because it's basically the same faces and stuff. Um, well, basically the same. But it's got this really cool back design with no border. 
Now the one I will be showing you is the Arizona Red. The Arizona Red is absolutely, I think it stands out a little bit more. You know the back design as you can see is more able to see. You've got black lines going across here with the red there and it does look like a picnic blanket. The cards you receive with this deck, you receive a few things. There's a bonus for this, you receive two jokers. They are um, this buck uh, and it has this ace of spades revealed on one of them and they are identical but the weird thing about this is they are off white this is a white and as you can see these are an off kind of creamy color then you receive the you know you receive this card here that is a word search and it has hunting i'm not sure if there's any other words now you meant to find but it's a double sided and it has you know poker then we have um you know some information here and uh oh this is a a, a drink uh, this is, you know, a drink, so thing, you know, this is a, if you want to make yourself a drink, you have to follow the instructions. Now the cards themselves uh, are quite usual, you get the Ace of Spades here, the big old kind of Ace of Spades, it kind of reminds me of the Magic Magic Con deck, but just we you know without the colours and stuff, the quite pointy Ace. It has a Dan Dave playing card company, the rest of it is quite standard, like normal USPCC. Then you get to the Royalty and exactly the same, you know, the Spades, they're kind of the same, but kind of more of a faded look, the yellows and the reds and the blues aren't so bright. Then you get on with the kings, uh, the hearts, you can see the royalty exactly the same, and the hearts are not as red, but they're kind of like a darkish red. And you see the uh, clubs and diamonds are the same. So they both look nice, they, uh, that's all, that could be a good thing, but how do they handle, and that is the main thing about, you know, packs of cards. So what one handles the best? Let's go on with the Virtuoso deck. Okay, so handling wise, this deck handles like a dream. First off, it does dribble really nicely, springs on the deck, it springs... Efforts effortlessly, it's really really easy. A riff shot on the deck, you know, piece of cake, no problems with that whatsoever. You know, you can do a pharaoh, does that really easily, and you can also do, you know, like a giant fan that I will get onto in a minute. But it does really riff shuffles and everything really easily, like that, no issues whatsoever with that. Fans on the deck, it fans really nicely. The fin border does create this right nice back design. You can see a bit of the blue, and I think that's absolutely awesome. I do love that. We can do a bit of a close up of the pharaoh on, on this deck because I know people like to see that. Okay, as you can see, that it does pharaoh really nicely and easily. You know, no issues with that whatsoever. And a giant fan, as you can see, it does a giant fan in a minute. It does a giant fan really nicely and it looks absolutely amazing look at that that's a really really cool giant fan and a one-handed riffle shuffle does that with ease so other than that it's a really nice deck of cards uh, no problems with it whatsoever I've noticed there's nothing wrong with it it does clump after time but that is quite standard with most decks now let's get straight on into with the uh, play decks now the play decks they're both on the same stock same with the virtuoso decks um, they first off they do riffle shuffle really well okay they spring, great, they dribble, great, you know, fans in the deck are grey as well, we can do a pharaoh shuffle, it does them really easy compared to the, you know, virtuos a little bit more better, and the fan looks like a kind of a massive picture of the back design. One hand and riffle shuffle, does that easy as well, you know, we can do um, a kind of a charlier cut, the charlier cuts quite easily. Double lifts, you know, it does double lifts easily as well and colour changes. There is an issue as it is a borderless deck that you can be able to see a you know a white border like kind of a sore thumb. As you can see, like if I cut that halfway into the deck and then I fan it, as you can see it sticks out like a sore thumb. With the Virtuoso deck, you know, it does Charlier cut quite easily, but when it comes to the handling wise, I mess that up there. But as you can see when you have a deck card turn over you can't really tell, uh, or you can actually tell actually a little bit, unless you kind of cover it up a little bit and make it, you know, however you want to do it, maybe like that, I'm not too sure, but it's a little bit more easier to do certain moves like double lifts and, you know, colour changes. So which one is my favourite? Let's get on with that. Okay, so here we have the plaid deck versus the uh, uh, the virtuoso deck. Now which one is my favourite? And many of you would have guessed by now, it is definitely vir the Virtuoso decks. Obviously I love the plaid decks, nothing wrong with them at all. I just think that this deck isn't for me because it's a non it's a non borderless deck, it's like no border at all. And also it's um kind of I don't mind the deck, no problem with it at all. It's just not for me. Uh, as many decks, you know, many people don't have decks that are for them. And it's just not my type of deck really. Uh I like it. Uh, uh, but it's just not for me, as you can see with this, I feel these last longer and they're great cardistry and handling wise. So are these as well, but in the back design way, and because I like them, 
they're all 100% custom, the, the, um, the vintage plays are not, but other than that, this deck is absolutely awesome, I really hope you guys enjoyed this deck war, if you guys would like to show your support to the channel and would like to see more deck wars, then why not comment down below with what deck wars you would like to see, what deck would you like to face and why. So let's make sure you like the video down there to show support for the channel, make sure you click subscribe just up there, check out my previous video just up there and check out Deck War just there. That's it, hope to guys see you guys soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. I want you to know that I actually am right now in Florida so I won't be able to reply to any comments. I went on the 4th um, that could be today, and I'll be coming back on the 19th. Uh, videos will still be going up as they are scheduled to go up, so I do apologise if you're missing me, um, but I won't be able to reply to any comments, so please don't take this personally. I'm not ignoring comments. I will reply to all of them when I get back. So I'm in Florida, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.